Thanks for stopping by. When it comes to home automation, there can be many hazards. Please be careful when making modifications to appliances and interfacing into high voltage circuits. If you do not know what you're doing, you could end up electrocuting yourself, damaging your appliance, or starting a fire. Now that we have talked about the risks, let's watch the video. Global project. Um, <clears throat> I've got these two hair 7800 BTU units and uh, they're slightly different revisions but um, actual control panels are pretty much identical. Um, a funny thing is, is this one's more uh, recessed into the actual uh, chassis of the unit, uh, the control box that is, and then this one actually uh, sticks out about this much. The whole front is uh, quite a bit larger so I was able to pull it out. Um, so not knowing how I was going to integrate these, at first I saw this and I thought, oh, this might work. Maybe there's individual wires that just trigger the relays. And sure enough, we actually have a, a chart here that actually uh, says what wire does what. So I'm assuming we got our comp, which is compressor. Uh, we got beep, which is the beeper right there. And uh, then we have a high, mid, low, which I assume is fan speed. And um, we got ground and plus five volts. Room, I'm assuming, is uh, the temperature sensor. Um, the other ones, I'm not sure. Potentially, uh, or maybe things that this model did not have. I see there's definitely some space here that could have been used for extra features. But uh, anyways, yes, yeah, so now I'm gonna cut this harness up and see if I can uh, make it do something. All right, so we've got our ground and plus five volts. We've got our three fan speeds, in theory, and we got our compressor. Um, now, I assume these are triggered by ground. Uh, I tried to do some testing with my meter, but did not have much luck. So we're just gonna do the old school method and let's plug it in and touch these together and see what happens. So we're gonna assume that these are triggered by ground. So I'll start by uh, touching the ground to these wires to see if uh, anything happens. And if not, we'll switch to the uh, 12 volt. And I assume the worst case scenario is we uh, blow this thing up, which is okay, because this is uh, kind of my donor test unit. It does still work, but it's really nasty. Um, but if we can accomplish um, uh, a working system on this one, you can see it's even duct taped together. We'll go over to this unit, which is actually still in great shape, and uh, apply the same technique. All right, let's plug this sucker in. Okay, so we're gonna start by power plugging in the power. So we are powered up, um, and we're gonna start by taking the ground wire, which is here, and I'm gonna touch it to the low fan speed. Oh, nothing. All right, let's try our positive. Well, that sounds like a low speed. That sounds faster. That sounds fastest. Okay, so I think we got our system. This should engage the compressor. Perfect. All right, so now that we have low voltage control over the three fan speeds and the compressor, that's all we need to move on to the next step, which is uh, integrating this with the module. Um, because this is five volts, I'm thinking about attempting to trigger directly, um, but we'll see, we, might, we may go through a relay board.